The intention of this video is to provide more detail for the site overview along with how it's configured for the LimeView web demo. It is best to have already watched the top level video that also shows how to navigate the system. When you first log in you're presented with a site overview screen. How this screen is displayed is user configurable. By going to the settings icon we can modify the setup to suit your personal needs. The summarised time periods can be chosen and different between the line and site. And it's also possible to change the location of the site summary. Various metrics can be displayed in the line overview section both what and how is user configurable. A gauge, a text data and stat block are available. Changes made here affect all the lines in the site summary. For this I'm going to modify the time period selected for the site summary and then by saving it the screen is updated and now this will be saved for the next time I'm logged in. The data provided on the site overview screen can be very insightful. If you take a look at this at the moment on the lines, we can see the overall equipment effectiveness, the performance, the total output in units and the total planned downtime in what we've set up to be the last four hours. And we can actually see on this stat block that the total output in the last four hours was actually worse than the previous four hours, which is displayed below, whereas on line two, the actual output in the, this last four hours on line two was better than the previous four hours. A good look at this screen allows us to make some good choices as to where to go and investigate and right now I can see that line 2 is performing at 92% OEE, overall equipment effectiveness, whereas line 1 is at 51% which is drawing me to go and have a look at that and find out what's going on. The site summary provides an overview of the two lines together. OEE efficiency, total output total plan downtime and what was the worst line in the last 24 hour period. It also provides us facts on the total pay time versus the not required time which is a period where the, the line wasn't required to produce.